so today we're going to go through Hess's law. So again, we're going to be using the light board for this production. So we've got our equation here, okay? And we've got our half reactions that make up that overall reaction. So what we're going to do is flip, multiply, or divide these reactions so that the sum of these reaction add up to our overall reaction. So what do I mean? So the first thing you need to do is find your individual components of the overall reaction. So your products and your reactants. So we've got CH4 here. And if I look through my other ones, I can see CH4 is here. So I use this as a guide. So I look at where CH4 is and I make sure that it's identical to the top reaction. So if CH4 is a product here, I need to flip this reaction so CH4 becomes a reactant. So here I'll flip. Now it needs to be on the same side and it needs to be the right um, magnitude. So here I've got one CH4 and here I have one CH4. So I don't need to multiply or divide by anything. I can just flip that one. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll put a line through it and I'll write it out again. So I've got um, CH4 gas going to 2H2 gas plus CS. And then that sign then will become a positive 74.81 kilojoules. So if I flip the reaction, I need to flip the sign or change the sign to the other sign. So if this is negative, it becomes a positive. If this is positive, it becomes a negative. Okay, so we've got a negative to start with, so it becomes a positive. So that reaction's good now. We've got our CH4 on the left-hand side and we've got one of them. So our O2s, I can see there's a couple of them in the reaction. So I'll skip over that one and I'll go to something a bit more simpler. So I've got my CO2 here and I've got my CO2 there. It's on the right side, okay? So it's a product in both equations and there's one of them. So that one I don't want to change. You can lock that one in. So now I'm looking at water, okay? So I've got two water molecules in the liquid state, so then scanning through two water molecules in the liquid state. So this one's good, I wanna lock this one in. I don't need to change it. It's the right amount and it's on the right side. So now hopefully everything else adds up or cancels out if we don't want it. So we've got our 2H2 here and we also have 2H2 on the other side of the arrow on another equation. So those two will cancel out. So now we have our carbon, opposite sides again cancel out. So the only thing we've got left are our products and reactants and we have our oxygens. So here we've got 1O2 and 2O2, which happens to add up to what we wanted. So this is, this is good. So then what you can do is write this out again. So adding it up. Okay, and then you just need to get your calculator out and add up all those values. So your delta H equals minus 571.66 plus minus 393.52 plus 74.81 kilojoules. Okay, so you end up with minus 890 kilojoules. Okay, so that's, that's the process using Hess's law. Okay, so you've got your overall reaction, you've got your half reactions, and you flip or multiply or divide even. It can be by fractions or whole numbers until you achieve the overall reaction that you had at the start. And then adding up your delta H's, remembering if you multiply, your reaction, you need to multiply your delta H. If you divide, you have to do the same to your delta H. If you flip, you change the sign. And then you add them all up at the end, and you end up with your delta H for the reaction. Okay, thank you.